Hi, welcome to Bam Durangi Review and to test number 714. This is the Goosen Inferno X. So who are we and what do we do? We test badminton equipment like strings, shuttlecocks, shoes and of course lots of rackets over 750 in actual fact rackets tested on our site in the, and in great detail detail like you've never seen before if you go to our website and go onto the e-zone you can sign in and see all this information for free you can also advertise your club for free and you can also advertise any forthcoming tournaments for free we do ask of you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, subscribe to our website, press the like button, and if you can afford it, please do donate whatever you can so we can keep our work going forward. Thank you. Let's go through the manufacturer specs so you get an idea of how this racket plays and feels. Uh, the weight of this racket is 3U. This is all manufacturer specs, 3U. The balance of the racket is head heavy, so bearing slightly in this direction. The shaft is medium flex, so that's not too stiff, not too flexible. The grip size is G6, size of the grip. Maximum string tension, 32 pounds, and the racket is made in Taiwan, which obviously gives us an indication that this is made to a very high quality. Now, let's compare the manufacturer specs to the E-Zone specs. Racket weight, 89.6 grams, that's obviously with the grip and the strings as you see it here. Head quite head heavy at 313 mil, so going a fair distance in that direction towards the head. And the, the shaft is actually quite stiff. It's quite a stiff shaft. And don't forget when we test, we isolate from the cone to the neck. We don't take the overall racket stiffness, we take just the shaft stiffness. Availability and price on this uh, racket, pretty easy to get hold of in Asia. It's actually not that hard to get hold of. I think if you do a Google search, you'll quickly find the racket. We sell this racket, I think it's about 100 or 105 pounds we sell it for. We ship worldwide. Um, at the point of making this video, there is definitely some chaos in the worldwide delivery network. So uh, our normal delivery lead times will be delayed until things settle down with both with COVID add with the UK leaving Europe. In terms of design, while this is a goose and racket, it's produced to the very highest levels, made in Taiwan, perf perfectly finished. There's not a text out of line, there's not a letter that's not clear to read. It is beautifully well executed. And as you know, with the Inferno range, we have this very unique wavy head I'm sure Goosen were the first people to come up with this design. I've since seen a few people, manufacturers, try and copy it, but they are the originators and they have done a fantastic job. Take a look at these close-up uh, shots to give you a better idea. So how does this racket play? Well, it scored a reasonably good result in the E-Zone. Um, in terms of the feel of the racket, it feels medium in weight to use. It doesn't feel very light. It doesn't feel too heavy. It feels medium in its stiffness. It doesn't feel overly stiff and it doesn't feel too flexible and, and the same applies to how fast the racket feels it doesn't feel lightning quick like a j nice elastic air or a apex featherweight excess it feels just reasonably quick but not mega fast so what is this racket good for well it is particularly good at control it offers a very nice level of control you know you have a very good understanding of where the racket is you're able to get in quite tight and you be able to drop in fairly tight, you're able to drive shots fairly tightly. So your control on the racket is very good and it does offer a reasonable smash power. Uh, however, the sweet spot does take quite a bit of getting used to, uh, but it, because it has reasonable but you do manage to get yourself decent power. I wouldn't say it's wow, uh, and, and our E-Zone test didn't prove it to have a wow smash, but it did 
I did find using it on court, the more I got used to it, the better the, the smashes started coming off. I could see also, the reason I'm saying it's good for smashes is when you're not quite exactly behind the shuttle, if you're moving to the right and you've got to take this, a drive stroke smash shot off your center, it still provides a very good amount of power. And same for the backhand, if you're driving or smashing off the backhand, it's actually quite reasonable. Unfortunately, in, in most other areas, uh, overhead, drive, defense, repulsion, it did not impress. So where would that leave us with this racket then? Well, we would say that if you are a doubles player, uh, you're a, you, know, you want something high class, you want it made by a world-renowned manufacturer, then I think Goosen Inferno X is a good choice. It's a nice doubles racket. Um, it executes the two things I said to you fairly well. It offers a very good level of control. So if you're not a big hitter anyway, then and you want something that's medium in, in its speed, you don't want something crazy quick, but you want something that offers you good control, reasonable power, it's worth considering. So I'm going to give it a hesitant thumbs up on the doubles. Singles players, definitely not. Um, beginners, no. Don't, don't, I don't think it's suitable. Intermediate, advanced players, it's okay for you to try it. How does it compete with its competitors? So what we got is a standard group as usual. So the Black Panther, King K9, possibly the Honorus S6. Um, we've got the Felit Woven Range, which we've just tested recently. Uh, we have the Mizunos, which have also tested excellently. Um, and then I think the price point starts to go up. You know, the Tectonic Range by Leaning Well, it's a little bit higher in price. Uh, the Wind, Windstorm 74, it's slightly lighter, so not fair to categorize it in the same test. Well, how does it compare? I, the, the initial competition for this racket is going to be the King K9 for you and the Black Panther for you. And unfortunately, the Black Panther can't compete. You know, the, 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 this racket can't compete with that. It, it does everything brilliantly. And the King K9, well, it's a heavier, slower racket than the Black Panther for you, but it is powerful its drives are powerful defensively it's not that far off this racket so i would say you are probably better off with those rackets but if you want something that's cool in your bag with a nice wavy head does a reasonable job it's not amazing and you want it to be made in taiwan you want a high quality product then this goose and inferno x is worth consideration now you can see all of the smash maneuver all the test JPEGs on this racket at the E-Zone on our website, which is now free of charge. You can advertise your club and any tournaments you've arranged free of charge on the E-Zone. Just remember, if you are looking to go and join the E-Zone, the E-Zone does not view that well on phones. It's so much info we've had to put in to make the E-Zone something unique in the history of badminton that it is almost too much for a phone to, even though it's responsive, it's still a lot for a phone to cope with. So you are better off viewing the E-Zone on a desktop or on a laptop. Outside of that, thank you so much for all the love. Thank you so much for the subscriptions, the likes, the shares, and the support we've been receiving, even during 2020 when Bampton really had collapsed around the world. No one was really playing. International tournaments have stopped. Sales have slowed down massively. Nevertheless, we still getting we still manage to keep getting contact from many subscribers from many parts of the world. So really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And I'm going to sign out on this video. We'll see you on the next one.